going to be planting David Austin roses. I got these roses for my birthday for my husband. Um, he bought me four bare root roses. Um, they're very beautiful. I'll go ahead and show you them in different pictures. But they come in a box like this for bare root, a horizontal box. And on the top here, you get like a little planting guide, which is pretty cool. It pretty much tells you everything you need to know on how to plant them for your area. And of course your receipt. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and planting of the David Austin roses. When you go ahead and enter or join their mailing list, they give you their um, little pamphlet of their roses that you can buy, kind of like a buying guide or a like a catalog pretty much of their roses for the year. And so I definitely recommend you getting these because it's pretty cool if you really love roses and just want to start growing them. Um, David Austin Roses has been a company for the year for years. I think since like the 60s or maybe longer. Not sure. I know when I was reading, it's their beautiful English roses bred in in Europe, and the catalog just shows all the beauty and some tips too on how to grow the roses in your area. Definitely helps people in different climates. Uh, what's what roses are heat tolerant, which roses do better in certain temperatures. I definitely recommend getting this catalog because it's really helpful. Okay, so we're gonna do the unboxing of these bare root roses now. So they come, the bare root roses come in a plastic bag like this. This is super exciting because I've never had bare root roses before and they, oh my God. Okay, look at that. So that's how it looks in the box, the bare root roses. There's four of them in this box. So, so you can see what it looks like. The first rose, uh, bare root rose I got is called Lady of Shallot. So when they do have roses like this Sometimes they'll have like a star next to the rose meaning like that's like a number one rose for For flowering or for health. So I got the Lady Shallot, which is really known for its great flowering It's a it's a climbing rose. It can grow up to eight feet in height It's a there's actual Lady of Shallot shrub and a Lady of Shallot climbing but when you get the receipt, next to the flower, next to the rose, it says CLG, meaning it's, it's a climbing rose, just in case you get one from uh, as a gift like I did. And so it can grow up to eight feet high and it has a medium fragrance and it's actually known for its best flowering. It's a rich orange red bud open filled with loosely orange petals. So I'm just reading this off the David Austin website. It's um, surrounding outer petals are salmon pink with a golden yellow underside. The next rose I got is also a climbing rose and I don't know if I'm saying this right but it's called the More Timer Sackler and it's a climbing rose also best for flowering and best for health. It's a light pink rose and it can go up to 12 feet high and it's bloom size is like a medium. It's a rose that is soft pink flowers. It has an old road fragrance with uh, hints of fruit. That's what the website says. And it's like I said, it's great for exceptional health and repeated flowers as well. So that's the more timer Sackler. My next two roses that I got were our shrubs. So I got two climbing and two shrubs. This shrub is called James L. Austin Rose. It's a deep pink, beautiful flower. It's, it's flowering, repeats its flowering. Its uh, fragrance is light. It's a medium shrub, it, four feet in height, up to three feet in width, as um, David Austin website says. It bears large uh, petal deep pink roses with a button eye and the light medium strength of a fruity fragrance 
And the fourth and final rose that I got as a gift for my birthday is called Queen Elizabeth. This is a shrub. It's a clear pink color. It also repeats flowering and its fragrance is light. It can grow up to six feet in height, four feet in width and its bloom size is large. It has numerous pink flowers on long upright stems, uh, very much as uh, a border um, that it grows into. So it's, it's indestructible as the website says. So that is my fourth rose, the Queen Elizabeth. I watched a video on Austin, David Austin website. It has videos on how to plant the bare root roses it says for these types of roses to at least have a 20 gallon pot so I just got these pots from from Walmart they're not real wood it's just kind of like a plastic so I'm gonna go ahead and drill holes on the bottom so I can have drainage and I'm gonna fill them up with soil some compost and some fertilizer to help it grow so we're gonna go ahead and do that you can um, which I wanted to get, I just didn't have enough time because these were in a box for a while and I just didn't want to waste too much time. I am going to buy in the future. Uh, David Austin's website has their own Macrianzia, a bag where is what you you sprinkle on the roots uh, to help it grow better. Uh, so since I don't have that, I, I did just go to the store and bought uh, Dr. Ertz uh, organic uh, rose and flower. It has Macrianza in it. so. I just thought this will do for now. And this is what I'm gonna sprinkle on the roots while I plant them. Like I said in the beginning, you get like a little planting guide in your box and it has a map of the United States and you can just go by what region that you're in. And so I'm in Florida, obviously, so I am in the Southeast region. When you know what region you go to, you can just go to that Southeast region little guide that they have for you. And for me, it says, uh, it tells you what to do each month. It tells you what you need to feed it and how to mulch it and how to water it. And so it, it tells you all that as well. It tells you if you're growing a shrub, what to do. Deadheading, uh, which is removing uh, finished blooms in order to encourage further growth. It tells you all about that as well in this little booklet. So it has a lot of information and I think it's pretty cool that it's a little booklet um, that you can always go to for whenever you need information about David Austin roses. In the beginning of this book, it actually has pictures on how to plant the bare root roses. So I'm just going to follow this. I mean, I've seen the videos in the website and how to do it and it has written in little pictures of how to do it. So, so the first step is to put water in a bucket and put the roots in the water for at least two hours to rehydrate the roots before you plant. So you can't just plant right away. As I take the first root out, this is how it looks here. And so we're actually planting this in the ground and leaving like two inches um, planted. And that's how it says to plant it, but we need to rehydrate. This is the Mortimer Sackler. So this is the climbing rose. And so we're gonna go ahead and fill this pot with water and just soak it in for two hours. All the roots are underneath the water. It looks like I had it in the box a little long that I started growing these little shoots right here. It's like little pink shoots so I think I started doing some growth while I was in the boxes for very long so I don't recommend you waiting because <laughs> I had it in the box for a while so we'll go ahead and wait two hours for this. I 
right, I'm gonna fill all these four pots with half compost and half soil. I guess it's good if you just like mix it in a wheelbarrow or something and then pour it, but I'm just gonna do it right in the pot. make a shallow middle Just dig in the middle here I'm gonna pull and pull the roses over here okay oh. you get your magrianza fungi whatever one do you have for roses. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of them out. We did about two and a half hours of soaking. If you watch the, the videos from the web from David Austin, they also say that after you plant the bare roots with the soil, position the rows in the center. The bottom of the stem should be two inches below of the top of the hole for a bare root row. So it shows here like a picture of you can use like a bamboo stick or something to help you measure. Um, just two inches above and that's where you'll stop with the dirt so we're gonna go ahead and just keep filling it my first David Austin rose. I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you guys how this grows and this one is a climbing rose so definitely do a lot of pruning and uh, making a trellis for it so I'm excited uh, to see how this grows. About three more to do. I'm gonna put some on it. Good job. I have to put some on here. Yeah. Oh, you gotta do this one. Come on, put more soil in it. Put soil. Okay, let's put more soil. More of it. More of it. More travel. More of it. More of it. More travel. More of it. More of it. More travel. Okay. You want to cut it? No. Fun of fun of more travel. Fun of fun of more travel. Good job. 
Mommy, this is spiky. Yeah, spiky. Finished planting, sprinkling them all with the fertilizer, and then drive them up two inches after the roots, and then water them down like you just saw me. So I have four of them complete. I'm excited to see how they grow. I mean, I'm just gonna keep reading the little booklet that the roses came in, and see more videos on. Um, the David Austin website because I have great information. I mean, they're the ones that breed these beautiful flowers, so I'm just gonna soak up all the education they have on there. I've been dreaming about growing roses and flowers. I mean, I really have an earning to grow a cut flower garden one, one day and I wanna be able to be a flower farmer and sell all my cut flowers. I think flowers are just so beautiful. I mean, I love growing food and I love growing flowers as much. I feel like they just make me so happy. They're so beautiful and they make other people smile too. I mean, who hasn't smiled when they see a beautiful rose or a flower? So I just feel like this is just another dream that is coming true for me. Growing all these David Austin roses are it's gonna be such a treat I mean for me and my family so I'm excited to see how they grow and show you guys what I do hopefully they grow well I'm scared that um, that something happens to them along the way but hopefully if I just um, use my little booklet here and just follow the directions on what to do and throughout the year, I think we should be okay. So it's nice to have my, my little one help me. She loves to garden as much as I do. I mean, since she was born, um, she's been around, you know, plants and just gardening back in Washington state. So I'm just happy to keep showing her, you know, how to grow food, where food actually comes from, actually from the soil and also grow flowers too. She loves growing flowers so uh, she's definitely my mini me and I just I think it's important just to to get children um, hands in the soil and and show them how it is to grow food. I think it's so important and flowers. But yeah so there we go. First time planting David Austin roses. If you haven't subscribed please do I want to know, have you grown David Austin roses? What are your tips and tricks? Let me know in the comments. I would love to um, get any knowledge that I can about growing roses. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay well, friends. Ooh.